Hi, I'm Jack Rabb, I'm the sports editor at The Journal. I'm Lena Yusufzai, I'm the assistant sports editor at The Journal. And today we're going fencing. Yep. Now you may have heard of fencing. It is a sport, um, a club sport at Queens, and, uh, and, and you stab each other with swords. And frankly, neither of us have tried it before. And we are hoping to take you down the rabbit hole into the wide, wide world, the beautiful, big world of fencing. I really hope that, uh, that this is a learning experience for all of us. All right. I don't get any question. I would never even dream of suing queens. My name is Rodney Carter. I'm the head coach at Queen's Fencing. Uh, I've been a coach since about 2004 and I joined the club in 1999 as a uh, second year undergraduate. I'm Rory. I'm a men's captain of the Queen's Fencing. Um, so Rory, when do we get to start stabbing people? Uh, after I make sure you guys don't hurt each other. Oh. So I'm just going to go over some basic fundamentals right now. Uh, we're going to start off with just the unguard position. So this is where you start uh, the bout in, and the ref won't start the match until you actually get into this position. Make sure your heels are in line. That way you can change the direction. So now Jack and Lena will venture off and join the rest of the group in some general focus. How's it going so far? Uh, it's been good. I feel like I've learned a lot. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know fencing was going to be this difficult. So in fencing there are three different uh, uh, blades uh, and each uh, have the same basic footwork and, and uh, kind of core components, but they have different uh, tactics and target areas. So the training weapon is the foil. Uh, you have to hit with the tip and it's only the basically the torso. Similar is uh, the epe, which is also the tip, but it's the full body. It's a heavier weapon and this was the sort of the dueling sword. Uh, and then there's saber, which the target area is uh, the torso, but the arms and head as well. And that's a slashing weapon, so the full blade from the hilt to the tip. So now we're going to go on and use a little bit of epe. Hey, my name is Jack Rabb, and I'm, uh, I'm actually the captain of the Queen's... Rory, what are you the captain of? Uh, No, no, but which bit? All of it. I'm, uh, and I'm not that, unfortunately. I'm the captain of me, though, and, uh, I'm about to go out and try my best, so, on, on guard. Frankly, I'm feeling real good about my odds out there. You know, I've been in the gym preparing, I've been eating right, um, you know, I've been on a diet, a medieval diet, strictly mutton and, uh, and mulled wine. Jack thinks he's going to win, but personally I think I'm going to win. I know he's got the wingspan and the height, and whatever, but I've been working out too. Lena's from Toronto, where there's, you know, a big housing bubble, you know, the market, the real estate's really expensive out there, so it's good that I'm living rent free in her head. Jack's from Ottawa, the capital of the country. Well, guess what? I'm about to capitalize on this win. That old adage that victory is like champagne because it's so sweet and it makes you feel drunk. And I, I get it. I get it now. I'm gonna mess you up next time, Jack. <laughs> what a slice! That was fantastic. It was, it was a really yeah, great experience. It's been a fun experience. I had so much fun. Uh huh. I mean, I beat Lena in the in the head to head. It was very close. Yeah. Very competitive kind of match, and uh, and that's what fencing is all about. You know, you ride your highs, you ride your lows, and uh, you know, learned a lot today. Yeah, yeah. I think we both came out of it much more yeah. like world wise. You yeah. know, and uh, you know, just thanks so much again to everybody at Queen's Fencing for having us. Thank you for uh, you know the tremendous work and keep up the great stuff.